When making Dungeon Defenders, we wanted to make a game that people wouldn't just play for a few hours, but for hundreds of hours. Once we finished the main campaign, we got to work on cramming as much content into the late game as possible. The core of Dungeon Defenders revolves around 13 campaign levels or four difficulty modes. Here, you have to defend anywhere from one to four Eternia Crystals as you work your way from the deepest part of the castle to the rooftops. Each difficulty mode will change the strength and speed of enemies, and of course, the harder it gets, the more experience and better loot you'll gain. In addition to the campaign, there's also a set of challenge missions. In these missions, we take the standard ideas behind tower defense and turn them on their head. There's a challenge where the core will warp around the map and you'll have to build, sell, and rebuild your defenses to keep it protected. There's a challenge where you'll have to protect a friendly ogre, and even a challenge where you're the ones attacking and the enemies are defending. There are also multiplayer-centric challenge missions like Chicken, where you'll have to defend one of your allies while defending the Eternia Crystals. Or Monster Fest, where there are no crystals to defend and it's a race against the clock to slaughter as many enemies as you can. It's in these challenge missions where you'll find some of the best loot in the game. There's even a PvP deathmatch mode called Hall of Heroes. There's survival mode, which is your standard infinite tower defense mode. The catch is, since Dungeon Defenders is an RPG, certain waves have special drops and you'll have to reach them if you want to find that loot. Then there's pure strategy. This is the most traditional of tower defense modes that we have. Enemies will completely ignore your hero and focus on the crystal. While in the build phase, you'll be able to build and upgrade towers, but in the combat phase, you'll only be able to upgrade. No repairing, no attacking. Players will have to have a high level of understanding of the level's layouts and the enemies to master this mode. Finally, there's Mix Mode. This is for the most hardcore players. Here, enemies are randomized and you'll have to be very skilled to get by. If you thought fighting a few mages, wyverns, or warriors was difficult, try fighting hundreds of them at a time. No matter which mode you're playing, Dungeon Defenders will always be a challenge and there's always something new to do around every corner.